Apple's possible launch date for the iPhone 6 might have gotten leaked by a carrier. The LG G3 gets launched to the public and yes, it is really hot. And could it be that we're still getting another variant of the Moto X? I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you're still scrambling over yesterday's question of the speed of light of the spaceship, uh, hit me up on Twitter. It's actually a simple answer. This is Pocket Now Daily. Google is making a lot of interesting changes to Google Now, and it's kind of interesting that it's trying to do so almost silently. But if we talk about official news today, Google Now keeps getting better with another update they should be getting on your smartphone very soon, where it includes new ways to view your weather, aside from other cards within the UI. You will now be able to see more than one city in your weather information, whereas in the past you had cards you had to swipe back and forth. So stay tuned, as apparently we will be getting more stuff before Apple's WWDC 24. Now, something very interesting now that we're talking about Google is the fact that even though we are expecting for the Moto X Plus One to be launched by Motorola, uh, there are rumors that there is actually a 64 gig variant of the Moto X that's in the works. It actually got leaked on the Sprint website. Uh, so uh, could it be that we are getting even more variants of the Moto X and could it be that we're actually sticking with this phone for much longer? Or could it be that the Moto X Plus One is just the... Uh, you know, better spec Moto X. Stay tuned for that, as that would actually be quite cool. Now let's talk about Apple. As those of you interested in getting Touch ID on your future iOS device, uh, we've got new credible reports that the company is investing hard on bringing Touch ID and actually a better version of Touch ID on every single iOS device that gets launched this year. So we are expecting this to come to the future variant of the iPad Air, probably the iPad Mini with Retina display in the future, and aside from that, also the iPhone 6. Now, these credible sources state that Apple is investing a lot on its Sapphire plant to be able to deliver this time. So um, it could be that the Sapphire production is actually just focused on this. And speaking of Apple, those of you wondering when is the iPhone 6 going to get launched? Well, it seems that Deutsche Telekom has been contacting customers and giving them the specific date that they already have a confirmation from Apple uh, because apparently they want to get customers to renew their contracts early. The date is September 19th, which is actually in line with the launch of the iPhone 5S, the launch of the iPhone 5, and uh, close to the iPhone 4S as well. Obviously, there was a lot happening on that year of the iPhone 4S when Steve Jobs died, so um, stay tuned. It could be that we are going to have to wait until September 19th. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, LG has just launched the LG G3. And uh, in a short word, you can watch our editorial roundtable. You can watch Michael Fisher's full coverage of this phone. This is hot. Pretty much one of the first 2K displays to reach the United States. It's got all the bells and whistles that we wanted on the G2, even though we love the G2 in our review, except for the software. But everything's there. Replaceable storage, replaceable battery. Uh, we've got just about everything that everybody wants on a small smartphone on this G3. Uh, and that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about this G3? Is this going to be your next smartphone? Because uh, to be honest with you, I love the G2 so much that I did not want to return that review unit. And if I had to pay for the G3, in all honesty, I'm just waiting for Michael Fischl's full review, which should be live very soon. But uh, so far, I would be willing to pay for this phone. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think about it? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.